Yeah, I went on uh, went on 80 meters last night, expecting maybe to hear the uh, the normal crew on there, and uh, you know nobody was around. So maybe uh, maybe the weekend, uh, the one guy gets on. Uh, What's up, guys? Um, always running something different here, audio wise. Just want to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. So. Good old voice meter potato. Um, I was running this for about a week and only this. And a uh, big shout out to K1GMM, who uh, I still watch his video on how to set up routing for this thing whenever I'm using it. And uh, boy, they, you know, they, I think they updated this thing in uh, February of this year. They finally updated the drivers. Uh, to be compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 11. Uh, for those of you that have ran this in the past, or remember when I ran it for a little bit, you know, three, four years ago, it would crash the computer over and over again. Um, there would be loads of audio hiccups and Thetis or uh, the Sun software, whatever I was running at the time. Well, now the drivers are updated, and this thing is very, very stable. You can run voice meter potato all alone and nothing else and get superb audio. Um, I'll probably do a video on that because I have set it up that way. Uh, but right now I'm just using it for routing. Uh, you'll notice here there's an EQ now, which I have ever, all this stuff is turned off for, my, for me in voice meter potato right now. I'll show you how I'm processing the audio in a minute. Um, but there's an EQ, there's a compressor, a noise gate, a denoiser, reverb, okay? Uh, I'm not going to get into full voice meter routing right now, just YouTube search K1GMM voice meter, and you'll find very in-depth videos from him on uh, how to route using this software. Uh, but you have all these effects. These are your uh, virtual buses over here. You can even EQ them, so you could have a stage one EQ, and you could have a stage two EQ on the way out of voice meter before you go into your um, SDR software or into your uh, radio. Uh, but right now, this is just a routing mechanism for me. I'm using one sound card uh, with this. Uh, I'm recording an OBS with it right now, and we are processing our audio Hold on one second. Okay. Using this bad boy. Uh, up, 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 up. This is a VST host known as Live Professor. So very, very little uh, usage of the CPU with this. This is not a digital audio workstation. This simply hosts your VST plugins. Okay, um, this is also, again, not a lesson on how to get the routing from voice meter into this thing, uh, though I may do that in the future. But if you have any questions on routing, like I said, just look up K1GMM's uh, video. So what am I running? I am running, there were, all this stuff's popping up on the other screen. I'm running a uh, tube preamp plugin followed by uh, NS1 Mono uh, Noise Reduction. So I'm using this basically as my gate. It cleans up uh, any of the room noise, cleans up uh, that little bit of carrier that uh, likes to transmit if there's any sound in the room. Um, from there, I am running the Fab Filter. Whoops. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I'll edit that out, I guess. Or not. Okay, I'm running the Fab Filter uh, EQ. This is my 4K EQ. You'll notice nothing's above zero dB. Um, and from there, we run the Pultec uh, EQ. This is where I add all my lows back, and I'm using uh, the Pultec bass trick, which is uh, boosting and attenuating at the same level. This is also where I add my highs back in. And then um, 
we have the CLA 2A compressor. Uh, this is a replica of the Teletronics compressor. Great sounding, little bit adds a little bit of grunge uh, to the audio. And uh, last but not least, not thrilled with it, but uh, it's serving its purpose. This is a little uh, reverb uh, plug-in. Uh, from there, we run into Thetis. Uh, there's my voice meter ASIO uh, drivers. for, And again, that has to do with routing through voice meter potato. And if there's an established net that's on a frequency and you're two kilohertz away from the frequency and you know that there's an established net, you know, and then you say, okay, listen, uh, if, if the net control comes it. on or somebody from that's the net it. comes on so says, what do we have, be a um, net starting up. What do we have with this new uh, VST host? Let's see. This should play. Here's what the audio sounds like uh, transmitted. Multi uh, dipole, yeah, right now. All right, Roger. Well, uh, yeah, I got you five eight to five nine. I'm r I am running power. Um, I'm running legal limit right now. Not too shabby. Uh, you are, uh, but I'm recording on a Kiwi SDR in uh, Northeast PA. You're hitting it. That guy's got a phenomenal receive antenna system. K3 FEF. You're hitting him ten over. Um, I'm hitting him twenty over. Actually, I made changes uh, since that recording. So let's see uh, what it sounds like now with the changes. Uh, we will just go down here. Nobody should be around. Okay, nice 1.14 SWR. Let me pull up the uh, good old Kiwi, which I bet it kicked me out. I bet it did. No, it didn't. What do you know? Let's mute that. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, all righty, this is KB2. UKA is the frequency in use. All right, we're hitting it about 10 over. That should give a good representation. Okay, nothing heard. KB2, UKA, doing a quick audio test. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Uh, while I am recording, let me just show you. This is uh, the final touch of the audio that you're not going to hear locally on the stream, but you'll hear it when I play this uh, SDR back. Um, these are the frequencies that I use for four kilohertz for, uh, CFC 150, 420, 700, 1600, and 3700. You'll notice those are the only frequencies that I have gain applied to, uh, and a little bit on 40. That's just cause I'm sick. Uh, but these are important frequencies because these are the Orban Optimod frequencies from the old AM, uh, unit. So I apply some uh, continuous frequency compression to those frequencies. I think it adds uh, some nice color. KB2, UKA, ending recording. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to mute that. Uh, all righty, this is KB2, UKA is the frequency in use. Ah, uh, nice low end, not but not muddy. Okay, nothing heard. KB two UKA doing a quick audio test. Uh, one two three four five. Uh, so some QSB shells by the seashore. Uh, while I am recording, let me just show you. This is uh, the final touch of the audio that you're not going to hear locally on the stream, but you'll hear it when I play this uh, SDR back. Um, these are the frequencies that I use for four kilohertz for, uh, CFC. 150, 420, 700, 1600, and 3700. You'll notice those are the only frequencies that I have gain applied to. Uh, and a little bit on 40. That's just because I'm sick. Uh, but. <laughs> well, there you have it. important frequencies. There you have it. Uh, the VST host works. Uh, nice, uh, clean way to run VST plugins. 
Um, it's this one's still a work in prog uh, progress. I want to find a substitute for this reverb. Not thrilled with it. Uh, you could. It, it's tr it's very powerful when I transmit with it, but you barely hear it on here. Uh, but it's in there. Um, very good, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, send me a message if you have any questions. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.